Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dortmund.com. So Google has just released the Android QPR1 source code a week back and now we have the first ROM, Evo X ROM, which is based on that source code. So first off, let's see what all is new in the latest Android 61 QPR1 source code, which all the ROM will now use, including the, the Lineage OS as well. So first, let's have a look at that. You will now get a new QS Ties menu. The new UI of the settings menu will be there as well. Apart from that, the new blur effect is there, which is new in the Evo X ROM as well, the new blur effect. Then apart from that, if you go to the, let's say, sound and vibration, you will see the new UI of, they have their own sections. This is the new for the Evo X ROM as well. And the new menu slider style, this is also new for the Evo X ROM. Apart from that, let's see the wallpaper style UI. This is will be new for all the other ROMs, but not for Evo X ROM. Evo X ROM had this before as well, but for the likes of Lineage OS, this will be new in, EO, in 16 QPR1 source code, the new UI wallpapers. Then if you talk about the icons, theme icon section has been changed as well. Again, this is only new for the Lineage OS ROM, but not for the EOX ROM. Then uh, layout is new. You don't have the 4x5 or 5x5, you now have the small, medium, large or XL. Let's go with small. So we'll see this on the Lineage OS ROM and all the other ROMs as well. Then when you try to apply a wallpaper, a new UI will be shown. So let me see that. Wallpapers. Apply. So this is a new UI. Again, this is new for the Evo X ROM as well and all the other ROM will be shown that feature as well in the coming weeks. Notification on the lock screen menu. This is the new menu of the one of the features of notifications. So you could see this UI will be new for Evo X and all the other ROMs. So if we talk about this list, so over here, the blur is new for all the ROM, including the Evo X ROM is there. Then for the different section of menu, it's new for the Evo X ROM as well and all the other ROMs. Sliders will also be new for the Evo X ROM and all the other ROMs. New volume panel, okay, regarding this, let me show you. You could now easily do a mute vibration or the normal sound from this menu. This is new for all the other ROMs. For the Evo as well, this is new. I haven't seen this, no. Then for the wallpaper style, this UI is not new for the Evo X, but will be new for all the other ROMs. This section is for there in Evo X ROM from the beginning of Android 16, but will be new for all the other ROMs. Then default clock customizations. Okay, clock customize. Okay, let me see that. I haven't talked about this yet. The clock style from here. Okay, let me change the clock style. Clock. This is also new for all the other ROM, but will not be new for the US ROM. You could change the color, the density of the color from here. Then change the size, dynamic or small or large. Style. I don't know, only one side is there, but this is new for all the ROMs, including Lineage OS but will not be new for the Evo X ROM. This is old for Lineage, for the Evo X ROM. Then I can, location of thing icon has been changed for all the other ROM, including Evo X, I suppose. Icon size, as I've shown you. The icon size is now over here. It has a new location, which is layout. This is not new for the Evo X ROM, but will be new for all the other ROMs. The new wallpaper UI screen, which I've shown you, if you try to change the wallpaper now, you'll get a new UI, as you could see over here. Next, and now you will see a new UI. This is new for EOX and all the other ROMs will follow this suit shortly. Then this menu of lock screen menu of notification, which I've shown you, also new for EOX ROM. So some of the UI were also there in the beginning of the Android 16 for the EOX ROM, but these are the new ones for EOX ROM and all the other two will be new for the Lineage OS ROM and all the other ROM which were till now based on Android 16, QPR 0. So now Lineage OS will be released on 16 QPR 1 for, for the EOX ROM. They had some of these tweaks earlier as well, but these are the features which we, they will get just now in the QPR1 source code. The build which I'm using currently is in a testing phase. There might be some UI issue. Once it gets stable, there will be no issue whatsoever. If you have any query with regards to this, the UI effect, the Android 16 QPR1 source code or anything like that, you may ask in the articles or videos comment section. I will get back to you shortly. And guys, thanks a lot for watching.